automation clips in FL Studio can be extremely confusing. So the goal of this video is to make it extremely simple so that by the end of this video, you know exactly how to use them and what to use them for. This video is a clip from a long video I did called the ABCs of FL Studio, where I go through everything you need to know as a beginner. And that will be linked in the description. So let's get started. I have this sample. Make your body shake like you got Parkinson's. And what I want to do is control the cutoff on this EQ right here. So that it goes from like the underwater effect. Make your body shake like you got Parkinson's. Now with automation clips, what they do is they automate any parameter in FL Studio over a period of time. I'm going to choose the cutoff right here. And I right click it and go to create automation clip. So now, as you can see, this is controlling the cutoff on the parametric EQ. You like you got Parkinson's. So that's how you create an automation clip for parameters native to FL Studio. If, however, you have a third party plugin that you need automated, it's a little bit different. Let's just say I want to automate the pitch wheel in Serum. You go to the pitch wheel, you play with it, you just tinkle with it a little bit, then you go up to tools. And then go last tweaked and then you go to create automation clip you can see that the pitch wheel is being affected by the automation that's mainly all you're going to need this for now let's say you have this automation clip and you delete it but then you move this parameter that you automated make your body and what it keeps the automation. What's going on? The way to get rid of an automation clip is to go to your browser, go to project, and then initialize controls. Right click on the automation clip here, and then you go to delete event. And then now, when you move it, make your body shake like a got Parkinson's. It stays where you moved it. So I'm just gonna hit create automation clip again. And we're gonna mess with this some more. If you double click on the automation clip, you have a bunch of scary stuff that pops up. This is basically just an LFO. So you can click LFO, and that'll just make the cutoff go up and down. Make your body shake like you got Parkinson's. And you can change all the parameters of the LFO in this window right here. Let's click LFO off. Now there's a couple of things that are pretty cool. Let's say that you have this automation clip but then you also want to have something else. Let's just say a riser. Let's just say you want this riser to do the exact same thing that the Parkinson's thing is doing. Just send that to a mixer track, put on a parametric EQ, and then automate the cutoff. You can go in here, you can click this, one left click, and go to Articulator Tools. Copy State. And then you go into the other automation clip for the riser and you go to articulator tools, paste state. So see, it makes them the exact same automation. Parkinson's. Now the last thing you can do, let's say you've got the Parkinson's thing here and you want it to go up and then from here you want it to go down. You could either make this longer and draw it out and just do like this. But what I like to do a lot of the times is I'll just have two separate automation clips and then you click on the left corner and go to make unique. Now you can just change this automation to be however you want it. That's basically all you need to know to automate NFL Studio in a very easy way. If you'd like to learn more of the basics, check the video in the description. Yeah.